is it? Today's video by Informator is about the top 10 most horror movies of the world. In the horror movies list on number 10, it 2017. The fear of clowns is a very real thing, even if it's become so commonplace to announce it that it feels disingenuous. If you needed any further evidence, we direct you to the box office hall of 2017's IT, based on the Stephen King novel of the same name, which went on to beat The Exorcist's 44-year record as the highest-grossing horror film ever. Oh, and of course, its 10th place finish on this list. Andy Machietti's big-budget adaptation drew on nostalgia to tell its story of children scarred by trauma, while Bill Skarsgård's take on Pennywise the Evil, Sharpe shifting clown was bizarre and unsettling in all the right ways. Add a healthy dose of jump scares, a handful of impressive set pieces, and some top-notch CGI, and you've got a recipe for a horror film that's both fun and full of scares. Number 9. Insidious 2010. James Van has already shown up higher on the list, but before he and Patrick Wilson made The Conjuring, they worked together on the supernatural thriller about a young boy who falls into a coma and begins to channel a malevolent spirit. The bare bones of the story weren't the most groundbreaking, but frequent Van collaborator Lee Vanell infused it with a compelling enough mythology that it spawned three more installments. Van also stated that Insidious was meant to be something of a corrective to the outright violence of Saw, which compelled him to craft something on a more spiritual level, and the end result is an effective chiller featuring what is frequently regarded one of the best jump scares ever put on screen. Number 8. Sinister 2012. For those who didn't read the scientific study mentioned at the top, we've finally come to the film it crowned the scariest. Before he joined the MCU with 2016's Doctor Strange, director Scott Derrickson had racked up a few horror films, a couple of which earned cult followings. One of them was this small-scale haunted house possession story about a true crime writer, Ethan Hawke, who moves his wife and kids into a house where a family was murdered, only to discover the new place might already have a rather evil tenant. Writer C. Robert Cargill was reportedly inspired to pen the script based on a nightmare he had after watching The Ring, and the story does share a minor similarity with that film, what with the creepy snuff film angle. But for many who saw it, the dramatic reveals and creepy set pieces far outweighed any recycled genre tropes that might have been present. Plus, there's at least one report out there that says it's the scariest movie ever made, so that must count for something. N Number 7. Halloween 1978. Coming in at the seventh spot on our list is the film that introduced the world to all-time screen queen Jamie Lee Curtis and put John Carpenter on the map. Halloween is frequently cited as one of the earliest examples of the slasher genre as we know it today, and while it may not feature the same kind of realistic gore we've come to expect of films in that category, it packs a lot of tension and some inventive thrills in a relatively small-scale package. The film's legacy is also fairly untouchable, Michael Myers' mask has become the stuff of legend, and the giant, unstoppable killer and the final girl have become ingrained in the horror lexicon. There's a reason the franchise is still going after more than 40 years. Number 6. The Ring 2002. It's always a tricky proposition to take something that works well for one culture and try to translate that formula successfully for another, but Gore Verbinski managed that with The Ring. A remake of Japanese director Hideo Nakata's acclaimed thriller about a cursed videotape, Verbinski's take kept the original film's striking visual imagery, the ghost of a young girl in a white dress with long black hair covering her face, and found that it scared the hell out of audiences no matter where they were from. While the film wasn't as well regarded as its predecessor, it features a committed performance from a then-up-and-coming Naomi Watts, and for many, it served as an introduction to East Asian horror cinema. Number 5. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 while the top four movies on this list collectively garnered 42% of the total votes counted, they were followed by six films that all earned around 3% of the vote each. In other words, these last six films were separated by no more than 60 votes. The first of them is the slow-budget slasher directed and co-written by Tobe Hooper, very loosely inspired by the crimes of Ed Gein. 
Texas Chainsaw's grimy aesthetic helped lend it an air of authenticity, which made it all the more frightening this could actually happen, you guys, and the massive, menacing presence of Gunnar Hansen's Leatherface paved the way for other brutes like Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. Multiple attempts have been made to breathe new life into the franchise, and we have another one on the way, but none have equaled the original in sheer, over-the-top, power-tool-inspired terror. Number 4. The Shining 1980. Literally dozens of Stephen King's novels and stories have been adapted for the big screen, and several of those films are considered classics today, like Carrie, Misery, and Pet Cemetery, and that doesn't even account for non-horror stuff like The Shawshank Redemption and Stand By Me. But the mother of them all is easily Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of The Shining. A marvel of set and production design and a genuinely unnerving take on the traditional haunted house story, The Shining features a host of memorable images and an iconic Jack Nicholson performance. The film's relatively few jump scares are still absolutely chilling, but its true power lies in the way it crawls under your skin and makes you experience Jack Torrance's slow descent into madness. It's rightfully considered one of the greatest horror films ever made, and it ranked fourth in our poll. Number 3. The Conjuring 2013. James Van has staked out a place among the modern masters of horror, directing films like Saw, Dead Silence, Insidious, and this inspired by true events chiller based on the experiences of real-life paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. The Warrens, best known for their work on the strange case that inspired the Amityville horror movies which played a part in The Conjuring 2, were portrayed by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga, who grounded the effective jump scares and freak-out moments with a believable world weariness. Together, Van and his co-leads found fresh terror in familiar genre tropes, and the end result is a sprawling cinematic universe that only continues to grow. Number 2. Hereditary 2018 Writer-director Ari Aster made a huge splash with his feature directorial debut, a dark family drama about the nature of grief couched within a supernatural horror film. Toni Collette earned a spot in the pantheon of great Oscar snubs with her slowly ratcheted up to 11 performance as bedeviled Mother Annie, but the movie's biggest shock came courtesy of, well, we won't spoil that here. Suffice it to say Hereditary struck such a nerve with moviegoers that it instantly turned Aster into a director to watch and shot up to second place on our list. Number 1. The Exorcist 1973 you may not agree that The Exorcist is the scariest movie ever, but it probably also isn't much of a surprise to see it at the top of our list, with a whopping 19% of all the votes cast. William Friedkin's adaptation of the eponymous novel about a demon-possessed child and the attempts to banish said demon became the highest-grossing R-rated horror film ever and the first to be nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars, it earned nine other nominations and took home two trophies. But outside of its critical and commercial bona fides, the film is well known for the mass hysteria it inspired across the country, from protests over its controversial subject matter to widespread reports of nausea and fainting in the audience. Its dramatic pacing and somewhat dated effects may seem quaint compared to some contemporary horror, but there's no denying the power the film continues to have over those who see it for the first time.